Hi, I'm Don Cook from the BYU Organ Faculty. This video is designed to help organists get acquainted with the Allen LD34B organ. The organ is very complete and you'll eventually want to get acquainted with its many features. For the purposes of this video, I'll first offer a quick start, the most essential instructions to help you get through this Sunday. Then I'll offer a little more detail on the most useful features of the organ, some shortcuts, and finally a challenge. I'll begin with a quick start, what you need to know to get through this service this Sunday. First, turn the organ on. The on-off switch is to the left of the manual keyboards. Press on the top part of the switch to turn it on. Then wait for about 30 seconds. The screen to the right of the manuals will show a multicolored display when it's ready to be played. Until then, don't operate any controls or play any keys. Notice that the bench is adjustable with the crank on the right side. Turn the crank until it arrives at the best height for you. Also, of course, set it forward enough to support your body in its best position at the console. Next, open the grate and pedal and the swell expression pedals. Leave the crescendo pedal, the rightmost pedal, fully closed. Now create your stop combination. For this quick start, we'll go to the preset combination set up by the Musical Instrument Selection Committee of the LDS Church and the Allen Organ Company. For preludes or soft postludes, go to memory level 15. Softly press the memory one icon on the touchpad to your right, and then touch the up and down arrows to navigate to memory 15. Then press home. Press general piston one to your left under the great manual, which recalls a diapason eight solo on the great with tremulant for the right hand and a celeste on the swell for the left hand. Presets two and three on memory level 15 recall other nice combinations for great solo and swell accompaniment. Presets four through 10 recall soft combinations for swell solo and great accompaniment. Now, hymn playing for accompanying congregations or more solid postludes. Go to memory level 16. Softly press the memory icon on the keypad to your right then touch the up or down arrows to navigate to memory 16. Then press home. General combination pistons one through 10 on memory level 16 gradually build up from the softest chorus type registration, soft eight and four foot stops to nearly full organ. For a meditative hymn, press General Piston 4 or 5, located to your left underneath the grate manual. These recall foundations 8 and 4 on the grate with balanced pedal. For a jubilant hymn, press General Piston 6 or 7 to the left and underneath the swell. This recalls foundations eight, four, and two on the grate and on piston seven, the chorus mixture, 
with balanced pedal. There is your quick start. Now for an introduction to the console with more detail on the most important features. We'll start with the expression pedals and the crescendo pedal. This is the great and pedal expression pedal. This is the swell expression pedal. And this is the crescendo pedal, which is not an expression pedal. It adjusts the volume of the organ by gradually adding stops in a predetermined order. The normal position for all expression pedals is fully open. The grate and pedal volume controlled by this pedal fully open. The swell expression pedal fully open. The crescendo pedal fully closed essentially at all times. We adjust the volume of the organ by our choice of stops leaving the expression pedals fully open under normal circumstances. Now we'll explore the various stops of the organ on each division. On the grate, we have the principles or diapasons at eight, four, two, and mixture. We have the flutes at eight and four. We have a string at 16 foot pitch. We have a chorus reed at eight foot pitch. And a solo reed at eight foot pitch, a crumb horn. And we have hybrid stops, the gems horn at eight foot pitch. And an Earth Sailor Celeste at eight foot pitch. We also have one percussion stop, a chime. This division also has its own tremulant. And a swell to great coupler. There are also second voices available on the grate. A flute celeste at eight foot pitch and at four foot pitch. A two foot flute to go with our eight and four foot flute. A solo tuba. and a clarinet, another solo stop. On the swell, we'll begin with the flutes, eight, four, and two. The swell has a complete flute cornet when you add the two and two thirds and the one and three fifths. As an alternative to the four-foot flute, we can add strength to the swell ensemble by replacing the four-foot flute with the four-foot principle and the chorus mixture, to which we might add the 16-foot flute and the eight-foot chorus reed a 16-foot chorus reed. The 8-foot oboe serves as a chorus reed. Or as a gentle solo reed.
to which was added the swell tremulant. The second voices on the swell include a four-foot celeste to augment the eight-foot celeste, an eight-foot French horn, a solo tuba, and an English horn eight. There's also a viola 16 that can be used instead of the 16-foot flute. In the pedal division, we have 16-foot stops in order from largest to smaller to a little smaller and a little more colorful. A larger eight foot stop, smaller, and the four foot choral bass, which is a principal. Therefore, in the pedal, we have a full principal chorus at 16, 8, 4, and mixture. To which can be added the 32 foot contrabordon. And we have gentle flutes at 16 and 8 foot pitch. And we have a full reed chorus, 32, 16, 8, and 4. Here's the 16, 8, 4, 32. In addition, there's a smaller 16. Here's the larger one and the smaller one. Also there is the great to pedal coupler and the swell to pedal coupler. For the second voices in the pedal, we have the violon 16, which gives us a fourth voice. And we have a gemshorn 8, which gives us a third 8-foot pitch and a flute four that can be used instead of the principal four. Now let's talk about the memory levels. There are 16 sets of 10 general combination pistons and the six or four divisional combination pistons. Memory level one is always unlocked as is shown and can be changed by anyone at any time. So how do we save combinations on memory level one or on any level? Well, the first thing we do is navigate to it. We've already navigated to memory level one. Now let's navigate to memory level six, for example. We see that memory level six is unlocked. Now that we're at memory level six, we can choose our stop combination. That's what I want. Now I'm going to save it to piston number one on memory level six. I press the set button with my left thumb and while holding the set button in, I also press piston one and then release both. Now I'll test it by pressing cancel. And now without pressing the set button, I recall that combination by pressing piston number one. And there's my combination. Memory levels 15 for prelude and soft postlude and 16 for congregational hymn accompaniment are always locked and cannot be changed. Memory levels two through 14 can be assigned to individual organists and groups of organists. If you want the bass coupler included in your own combinations, or if you want a slight modification, 
in your own combination, you can recall, modify, and reset the combination to your own memory level. For example, I'm now on memory level 16, and here's the full organ on piston 10. I'm going to look at this combination and decide that I don't want the 16-foot reed on this combination. Here it is with the 16-foot reed, and here it is without. So I like that combination, so I'm going to navigate to memory level 14, and I'm going to set this on my own piston 10 on memory level 14 without the 16-foot read. I'm going to test it, and there it is. Now let's say that I decided I wanted to use the base coupler which I forgot, perhaps, that last time. So I'm going to add the base coupler, and I'm going to reset on piston number 10. Cancel, test, and there it is. The owner's manual, a quick reference guide, and the lists of stops included in each of the preset organ registrations on memory levels 15 and 16 are online. Go to lds.org, search organ manuals, then click on the appropriate Allen LD34B LDS link. An organ is only a tool. To really contribute to the worshipful spirit in a church service, though, this tool must be in the hands of an organist who cares enough to sharpen their skills over time. If you have a calling as an organist, getting access to a wonderful new organ is a great time to further magnify your calling. Consider this challenge from a great religious leader. I want to invite us all to walk a higher road of excellence. I speak of the need for a little more effort, a little more self-discipline, a little more consecrated effort in the direction of excellence in our lives. This is the great day of decision for each of us. For many, it is a time of beginning something that will go on for as long as you live. I plead with you, don't be a scrub. Rise to the high ground of spiritual, mental, and physical excellence. You can do it. You may not be a genius. You may be lacking in some skills. But so many of us can do better than we are now doing. We are people with a present and with a future. Don't muff your opportunities. Be excellent. And my challenge to you is just that, to seek for a new level of excellence in your service as an organist. There are many ways to continue your organ training. Several, several of them are described with links at organ.byu.edu. Then click the Info and Reference tab and click on Continuing Your Organ Training. Thank you. Mm -hmm.